to solve it. Radical. <laughs> Have you tried nitro drink? It makes you go boom. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. And I'm the wrong character. Oh, yeah, you do have to do boss fights as Crash, don't you? Yeah. Mm. By the so, way, I'm Austin. I'm Matt. Uh, except for, of course, engines. Except for engines, yeah. Let's go fight this dial. Yeah, this is your favorite boss fight, yeah? Yeah. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to love uh, this oh, boss fight and yeah, uh, Entropy's night. boss fights. Entropy's always had a really good boss fight. Mm hmm. I mean, he's only been in the one game, hasn't he? Well, uh, technically. Technically. He was in Crash Bash. Was he? Mm hmm. I never got that far in Crash Bash. He was an unlockable character. Okay. And, uh, he's in CTR. Yeah. He has a cameo in Twin Sanity. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Such an intense boss fight. Yeah, I. They really made that seem like it hits, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, the furthest I ever got into Crash Bash was the fight with the Komodo Bros. Mm. I never got that far. Yeah, I mean, the more I think about it, the more I realize it's not a good game. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is a good game. It is. Mm. You know, strangely, I... I have a lot of fond memories of how just sort of uh, low-poly the crystals were that surround him. I gotcha. Yeah, and now that they're all, you know, nice HD, it's like, eh, what's even the point? Mm -hmm. Don't have those aesthetic low-poly anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want this game. Yeah, get it out of here. Let's put the low-poly back in. <laughs> There are people who are actually very strong advocates for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, mostly because there's a lighting glitch on Crash because they gave him actual fur. Yeah. Uh, sometimes light just doesn't work on him. Hmm. I think, well, overall the Switch version has lower lighting effects in general, so... Yeah, and that might be for the best, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Mm-hmm. Unless you count Tiny and the cheesing it. Yeah. And now you got the... Double Gump. Double Gump. Thank you. Yeah? Oh, no. Because it just went Double Jump and it came up. Yeah. Which, I didn't realize this as a kid, but the Double Jump in this game actually sucks. Yeah? I never used the Bubble Gump that much. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. Yeah? It's sticky. Yeah. Uh... But, in reality, the uh, it stops your momentum. Oh, yeah. So you just boop. Yeah, and you just kind of stop. <laughs> you gotta use it at, really at the end of your gump anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bubble before your gump. Exactly. I remember really liking this level. Which level is this? Dynamite. Dynamite. That makes me think of Dynamines from Spyro 3, though, so... Mm-hmm. Well, this isn't a good game. <laughs> Spyro 3 is... well, okay. <laughs> Spyro 3, I think, is the most flawed of the, of the trilogy. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of people's favorites, because mm -hmm. it's got the most stuff in it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also the biggest pain. I gotcha. And, you know, it, Toys for Bob didn't even do it. Yeah. They're just like, let someone else do it. It's not worth it. it well, it was also due to time constraints yeah. from Activision. Mm-hmm. Activision giving time constraints? What? That doesn't sound like good old Activision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, got it, it. It's actually possible to go through this game and never use the double jump. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Just gotta do a lot of some tight slide jumping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna do it. I just wanted to prove a point that I was unable to make. So sorry, guys. Uh, See you next time. See you next time on uh, Crash Bandicoot, where we fight a polar bear. <laughs> That's two. Nah. Uh, anyways, you don't fight a polar bear in two, don't you? Ride a polar bear in two? Yeah. You also run away from one. Oh yeah, you run away from the big polar bear. Yeah. Polar's mom. Mm. Because I always think Polar is uh, Crash Bandicoot's friend, right? Yes, 
Absolutely, he is not enslaved. <laughs> eh? He lives with them. He does live with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's better than the boar from Crash 1. <laughs> yeah. Because the boar just seems to go forward because it's angry. Polar kind of looks back and is like, hey, <laughs> let's go on a ride, Crash. We are being chased. <laughs> ah. We pissed off my mom. We gotta get out right now. Mom said it's your turn on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when the Wrath of Cortex came out. Mm hmm. Oh yeah! Yoshi! Yeah, this is why I like this level. Because mm. dinosaurs are adorable. Yeah! Also, he got jump. He can just go up. Um... He doesn't got the same level of jump as Yoshi, though. No! But, you know, nobody has the same level of jumps as anyone in Mario in this game. That's true, this is a very much, hey, gravity actually exists kind of game. Yeah! If I recall, you don't use this boy nearly enough. No, you only use him like twice, maybe? Mm-hmm. Oops! Don't lose your dino, boy! I won't. He's my friend. His name is Nightmare. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't take the dinosaur past this point. No. For some reason. You know, it's just like, eh, I don't want to walk on the not oil. Mm-hmm. This is made out of my family. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, yeah just got a belly flop. It wasn't letting me. Hmm. I don't remember this one. Oh, that's easy enough. Yeah. Platforming. Platforming puzzles. Yeah, solve it. <laughs> Radical. Have you tried nitro drink? It makes you go boom. <laughs> it's the 90s. Yeah. I was just wondering, who was speaking through you, Matt? <laughs> you know, those, uh... Freaking 90s energy drink commercials? Yeah! Splur! Yeah! Buy some splur! Tubular! Let's play some soccer with a sports celebrity! Yeah, stop stop describing my childhood as well as you are. <laughs> you know, that's exactly what I'm here to do. I'm here to channel the ghost of commercials past. <laughs> Have yeah. you or a loved one ever <laughs> suffered from eye loss? from having a knife, you may be entitled to legal compensation. You know, that's fair. If someone stabs you, you are in legal right to sue them. <laughs> that is true. Thank you for joining us on our TED Talk. If yeah. someone stabs you, sue, sue them. them. Yeah. It's... Or take them to court so then they can go to, you know, prison. Mm-hmm. Where is the evidence that this man has stabbed you? My eyes are missing. <laughs> in the same shape of... And there's injuries in the same shape as his knife. Mm, you that can't be... prove that in the court of law. Yep. <laughs> Don't die from dino. I'll try not to. You'll try not, though. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Oh, fuck. I don't know why. This one just threw me off. I think it was the speed boost. I wasn't ready for him. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, he still got that box for you. Dino's a bro. Yeah. What? Uh, you missed a few? Oh, right, because you need the gem to get to a se another secret level. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I always like the chase levels. Apparently, I'm the only person who likes the chase levels. Um, I like them more in one than I like them in three, actually. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because, um, there's a bit more... The camera's at a better angle in one, actually. It gives you more view of what's in front of you, and... Overall, uh, the platforming, while being more difficult, is a lot less annoying to do when you die repeatedly. For oh. me, at least. Okay. Because in a lot of those dinosaur chase levels, those lava pits, you can just barely make it over and then still get hit by the lava. Yeah, that's why like slide jump. Yeah, I still don't like it. That's fair. A lot of people don't. <laughs> what were you? What was your plan there? Oh, trying to shoot it? Yeah. And bye. Goodbye. It was nice having you on the show. Mm-hmm. Thing. Uh, it actually has a name. I don't recall what it is. Really? It has a name? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll call it, uh, Toucan Sam. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is a name that it could have. It could. Well, no, not really, because due to legal copyright issues, yeah, but it could unofficially be named that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> S 
Same way that Crash should name is Sonic's ass. <laughs> no, it's called Sonic Ass Game. Yes. Uh, right, so now I know not to go after that, because that's not where the secret is. Yeah. Don't go after that. There's no secret there. It's just Nitro. Mm -hmm. ah, why did I turn around? So, w there is a secret in this level? Uh, there's a secret in one of them. I could just re be remembering wrong as well, though. Yeah? Yeah, I thought that if you destroy the Nitro, you there's a little secret path. Hmm. That's on me, fam squad. Alright, fam squad. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> that was on Austin. Now this one's on me. <laughs> Alright, so, remember, it's a two for one, uh, so, drink responsibly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Two for Tuesdays. <laughs> At the Y. Yeah. Isn't the YMCA a gym? Ah! Uh, yes. Okay. It's also a recreational facility. Okay. Also, like, why does just being in the wind kill you? Uh, because it sucks you down into the fan. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't make as much sense when Aku Aku is there. Yeah. I kind of like these levels, but I was never good at them. That's a lot of levels in Crash. Yeah. I mean, I was never good at Crash, so... <laughs> Neither was I. I didn't beat the game until I was 16. Uh... uh. Oh no! See ya! Goodbye! He just disappears. Oh, he doesn't get all tied up in him anymore. Yeah. That's too violent. I, I could see that mm -hmm. after saying it out loud. Just like, yeah, that's horrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just remember like little <laughs> ribbons flying out, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, probably not a good thing for little kids to see. Oh, it's like. Imagine if Sonic just got shot. <laughs> <laughs> I that's... love Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I haven't played the PS2's Shadow the Hedgehog game. No, me neither. I played it on Xbox. Oh, okay, I haven't played the Shadow the Hedgehog game. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's a game. It's a game. I enjoyed it greatly. That doesn't make it good. Gotcha. It's like, uh... I'm trying to think of a really bad game that I enjoyed. Crash Bash. Yes. <laughs> That's actually the example I was going to use for you as well. Yeah. Uh, Fusion Frenzy, too. Like, so, I have made the discovery that most people who have played Fusion Frenzy when the Xbox was new, they're like, yeah, this game is great. And, uh, you know, I was a part of that camp, and I was looking up some old Fusion Frenzy videos, and I'm like, wow, this is a pile of garbage, and, like, I was talking to some people, and I'm like, hey, do you remember Fusion Frenzy? And they're like, oh, yeah, it's great. And I was like, oh, no. They're me. Mm-hmm. Did you educate them? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Ah, fuck. Because, uh, you know, sometimes it's fun to take the smile away from somebody's face, but, like, you know, that nostalgic smile, it's it can be like, nah, I don't want to take that away. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the secret on this level. Oh, this is? Yeah. What do you gotta do? I gotta go backwards. Oh, alright. And then where those, like, TNTs were and stuff. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> it's so, the only thing I don't like about these levels is that uh, it's really hard to avoid things. Mm-hmm. Because of the odd momentum? Because, like, it's not even normal swimming momentum in these games. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's closer to real swimming than other games. I don't know, like... Ah! <laughs> ah! Almost got it. But now you can have your thing back. Hopefully, if I don't die like an idiot. Yeah, don't die like an idiot. Die like a smart man. <laughs> die from your brain being too big. <laughs> big brain. <laughs> um... So, the MCU set up the that one Hulk villain, but it still has not even done anything with him in the movies. Uh, which one? Uh, the one guy where the Hulk juice was leaking into his brain and he's like, my brain big. Oh, the leader? Yeah. Or whatever? Yeah, that guy. That's fair. I mean, it's because they decided that the Hulk can't have any movies anymore. Yeah, they just were like, hey, let's put him in Ragnarok. Yeah! Mm. To, to be fair, it would be very difficult to write a movie around someone who's just literally too mad to die. <laughs> Looking at you, Berserk. Um, 
There's a few movies like that. John Wick. Mm hmm. He's too mad to die. I don't know why my eyes are watering. I just took a drink of soda and uh, it's like my eyes just keep watering. Is it sad boy hours? It's real sad boy hours. Who up? You know, the mall's still open. I don't know why this is now the sad boy hours. <laughs> all sad boys go to the mall. Yeah, that's true. That's where all the sad boys I know are. Uh, I work at the mall. Fuck! <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Are you gonna continue your story? Nope. Nope. You're you're done. Nope. I'm mad. You too mad. Real mad boy hours. Who up? Yeah. Uh, I worked at the mall for a good while, and the thing I I worked at a vape shop. Yeah. And the thing I never got is only fucking miners hung out there. Mm hmm. Yeah. And like they never asked me for anything. They were just like, hey, what new vapes and shit do you got? And I wasn't selling to them, so I just showed them what I had. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yo, well, that's sick. And I'm just like, you're not supposed to know that's a good bait, but all right. Mm. Uh, it does remind me of this one weird call I got at work. So I work at a movie. Motherfucker. God damn bullshit. Motherfucker. It's always that one, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, I work at a movie DVD shop, and there was one weird call I got. Uh... And they're just like, hey, what porn do you have? <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I mean, we got we got this porn. Can you, like, read me all of the titles? And I was like, okay. And they are just asking a lot of questions about the porn. And, you know, they weren't, like, giggling, you know, like, ah, oh, prank call, let's have this guy look at porn. Does this, does that have anal fisting? <laughs> Not even asking questions like that. Uh, I told them, because we sell hentai, I was like, a lot of the porn that we have is hentai. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, what is that? Okay. And then I was explaining, uh... Motherfucker. I was explaining that it's basically, you know... Cartoon. And, yeah. And they're like, so does it, like, is there movement? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. It's, it's, it's like... Alright, I couldn't move. Yeah. Continue. Uh, and just, it was just a weird experience of one, not only having to read up all the titles of the porn we had, mm -hmm. but two, explaining what hentai was. I bet. Mm -hmm. It's a weird world that we live in. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of a story I read on Reddit of this kid who uh, caught his father cheating on his wife. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, hey, I'm going to tell mom. Unless you buy me a porn subscription to this hentai site. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he did, and like a few years later, his wife found uh, this uh, porn subscription that was coming out of their bank account every month. Mm -hmm. And the uh, husband, dad, is just like, that's mine. Mm. <laughs> because he couldn't say that he bought his child a porn subscription. Yeah. Even if he wasn't cheating. Mm -hmm. And years later, this boy had moved out of his house, and mm -hmm. he just came back, and his parents told him to grab something out of their closet, and they found a bunch of, like, Miku Atsune cosplay, mm. and... Yeah. And it's just kind of silly. Yeah. Moral of the story is, don't cheat on your spouse. You'll have to buy your kid a hentai subscription that you'll never be able to explain. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that... I'm done looking for the secret, by the way. Yeah, that's actually what I was about to say is, you know, maybe the secret isn't worth it. Mm -hmm. Uh, That was only like three uh, things, but how do you think of that for an episode? You know, I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Just... Take Sorry, a, guys. Yeah, take a bit of a break. That seemed to have uh, gotten to ya. Yeah, I just kept getting stuck on things in those turbines. Alright, bye! Bye!